The Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. Chapter 3. The Creation of Human Animals. God says, You shall not kill, except in self-defense, real and not imaginary, or as a punishment in accordance with God's laws and judgments. You must dissuade people from doing evil by setting them a good example, or by shunning them to make them ashamed of themselves and love them into changing their ways. Never underestimate the power of the force of spiritual divine love. It is the greatest and most powerful force in the whole of creation. It is also important to understand the use of the force of love in respect of health. I have already explained that your human parents' bodies made the body human animal that you are temporarily using, but that they are not really your parents because their bodies did not make your soul, the real you, just as their parents' bodies did not make their souls. Call no man upon the earth your father. Your father is in heaven. Matthew 23, 9. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. That does not mean that you should disown each other. Everyone's soul came from the morning star thousands of years ago, and that's why Christ said that his body's mother and his body's brothers, humans, were not his mother and brothers, but that the souls, people, that hear and believe his words and put them into practice, keep the commandments, and do God's will, are his mother and brothers and sisters, relatives. This means that the souls who want to be good and live and eventually go home are his relatives, and that the rest are not, because they want to continue to be evil and thereby remain his enemy and their souls are going to die on the last day. This explains why the second commandment says, Love your neighbor as yourself, and not just the people of your own household. Mark 12.31 And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Your neighbor is not just the man next door, but also the man on the far side of the planet, and everyone in between. From the time that Jesus began his ministry, right up until his human death on the cross, he called Mary woman, and not mother. John 2, 4, and 19:26. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what am I going to do with thee? Mine hour has not yet come. John 19:26. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. All souls are related, because they originally came from heaven, and it is the soul that is important. Bodies are only prison cells and worthless. Love all your relatives, not just those of your body. That person that you can see in trouble could have been your great-grandparent reincarnated. Shouldn't you be helping him? When a soul being has learned all that it can in a particular body and environment, it is time to move on to a new body and a new environment to learn some more, and so the body dies. The soul is then unlocked from the body and goes into the astral plane, and later on is sent back into its next body to learn something different. If the soul has been good, it gets a healthy body, and if it has been very bad, it can get a disabled or deformed body as a punishment to teach it humility. If you are given a healthy body and you always do good, you will always be healthy because your healthy spirit within your body will keep the body healthy. A healthy spirit which lives always in the light will keep its body healthy until it is time for it to move on to a new body and environment to learn some more. The good die young. If you were given a healthy body and you start to do evil and live in the dark, then your evil, unhealthy spirit will poison the body from within and it will become sick which is part of the punishment, divine justice, for doing or thinking evil. If you then stop doing evil and come out into the light and do God's will, your now sick body will heal itself from within. So, if you start to become ill, you should recognize it for what it is, that is, a sign that you have been taking a step in the wrong direction, stop, and instead of running to the medicine cupboard or doctors, ask God where you have gone wrong, then follow his guidance and continue on the right path, 
and the sickness will get better. However, if you continue to go in the wrong direction, your illness will continue to get worse and worse. Doctors with their drugs, surgery, and obscene machinery temporarily relieve the body's physical symptoms, thereby allowing you to ignore God's signs and continue going the wrong way. And so, unwittingly, by trying to play at being God, they are actually helping Satan and doing you all a great deal of harm. If they weren't there, and or didn't profess to have the answers, you would all have to ask God to help you, which is exactly what he wants you to do, and is why he sent you the sign of being sick, Deuteronomy 28, 58-61, in the first place. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayst fear this glorious and fearful name, the I am that I am. Then the I am will make thy plagues extraordinary, and thy plagues of thy seed, even great plagues of the long continuance, and sore sickness, and long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon you all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the I am bring upon you, until you be destroyed. There are none so blind as those who refuse to see. Everything in life is for a reason. Seek and you will find that reason. But you have to seek in the right place. God, with all your heart. Jeremiah 29.13 And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. If you were given a sick body as a punishment, karmic debt, and you do good, then your now healthy spirit will start to heal the body from within, or your punishment will be terminated, and the sick body will die, and you will get a new healthy one, depending upon the severity of your punishment and sickness. Human bodies have to die, or there would be no progress, no fresh starts, no way to control the population explosion, and also no way to allow nature's natural process to keep the breed healthy, young, and strong. You cannot have many more bodies than there are souls to use them. Bodies were only designed to be prison cells for the soul, beings, jinns, and are themselves worthless. God has sent many clues for you about the fact that the physical reflects the mental and spiritual, one of which is the story that God wrote using the hand of Oscar Wilde called The Picture of Dorian Gray, which illustrates it perfectly. This story of Dorian Gray and his portrait and his deal with the devil shows perfectly that the physical which Dorian transferred to the portrait by making a deal with Satan reflects the mental and spiritual. Every time Dorian did something evil, the painting of himself became more and more grotesque, evil-looking, wizened and wrinkled, until he could not bear to look at his own evil soul's effect on his body portrayed on the canvas. There are other clues in the story of Dorian Gray about his reflection and also about home. In the story, Dorian has a book sent to him by his friend Henry. The book is about evil deeds and how people that do evil deeds start to look evil. The reason why no one suspected Dorian of doing evil deeds was because he looked so handsome, young, innocent, and healthy. They did not know that Dorian had done a deal with Satan and the painting was looking more and more evil and sick instead of him. Dorian reads this book in the evening by the light of a single bright star. In the King of Kings Bible, it's Revelation 30:16. And there was a great light, and there stood before me the Savior, the Christ. And he spake thus, and I may know the authority of the angel, and bade watch for the star that was foretold by the prophet Jacob that you will know the time of the second coming, and I will enter all hearts. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the communities. I am the root source and the successor of David, Ezekiel 21:27 cross-reference, and the bright and morning star. Dorian reads this book in the evening of the light of the single bright star until night falls and he cannot read any more. This is a clue about home, because the only star that could have possibly been the morning-slash-evening star, Venus, which is the brightest star in the sky, and can be seen before the sky goes dark, and all the others then appear. Doctors, by playing God, keep the bodies alive when they should have died, and the souls, beings, jinn, 
should have received a new body are actually causing unnecessary suffering by prolonging people's illnesses and thereby also their punishment and the pain they have to suffer. If they stopped playing at God, as they should, and let the body die, as God intended, the suffering would stop and the soul being jinn would get a brand new body, human. As already mentioned in chapter 2, mankind must live with nature in order to survive and keep the race healthy. Unfortunately, as usual, mankind is living against God and nature, weakening the race and filling the world with more and more sick, crippled bodies, thereby causing the souls that have to use those bodies to have to suffer unnecessarily just so the selfish parents can have a baby. What about the rights of the poor soul that is then forced to have to use that baby body and suffer being permanently sick or crippled? When nature rejects a baby, it is ejected, born prematurely, it is for a very good reason. That is, because the baby human is not going to be healthy enough to be able to be used properly by a soul being jinn, and therefore is rejected. Then along comes faithless, insane man who thinks he knows better than God and builds obscene machines to keep those babies alive so that they can grow up to Ecedra 621 to be cripples and or suffer from terrible diseases or chronic illnesses causing the souls that have been forced to use those bodies to have to suffer and the parents too and everyone else having to pay extortionate taxes to pay for the expensive machinery and the doctor's wages etc.